Welcome to Two Minutes with TechStrat. Today we're talking about choosing an M&A advisor and specifically we're looking at the importance of bringing in an advisor who will be respected by your other collaborators in this process and will be able to lead the process. This really boils down to an advisor who works effectively with counsel, with the accountants, with your board members, with the buyer, and who's viewed as a trustworthy, credible individual who's gonna push the process forward, but also be honest, straightforward, and efficient in how they use everybody's time. m and transactions require close collaboration between different parties with very divergent interests. Lawyers, for example, are charged with protecting their clients' interests and helping them avoid undue risk. The advisors, the bankers, we're really more encouraging the client to take reasonable business risk because that's how these deals happen. That's how companies grow. Meanwhile, the accountants are gonna avoid going to extreme positions, obviously to protect themselves, but also because it, it, uh, it hurts their credibility. Um, but we're gonna need to push them uh, as necessary to at least get numbers on the table in a format that's gonna be useful uh, for the buyers. And then obviously the buyer wants to maximize the value, minimize the risk, and the seller has the opposite goals. The net result is that to get over the finish line, these processes need a, a champion in the middle, a CEO of the deal, who's gonna push the process ahead, work with the lawyers to make sure their voices are heard and that the client is protected based on their advice, but also work with the client to make sure they understand that these things do take business risk and that they're able to balance those competing interests in their minds.